Welcome to my little uh, video house mover movie. Uh, this took place in South Louisiana in the summer of uh, 2012. The house was moved from near Lafayette, the town of Dusson, outside of that, to south of Abbeville in uh, Vermillion Parish, up to Big Woods. My parents had lived in the large house they built as a copy of uh, an adaptation from a house in Lake Charles for a religious community and there were other houses brought out to match it. That central house had always been used for a lot of ministry and groups. Sometimes it was hard to live in it. Sometimes we had the whole big place to ourselves, those who did live there. Sometimes more or fewer people lived there. But they sold it to family missions and began to move a home from Dusson to Abbeville. My mother and I went out and took some earlier pictures of just the house the way it was, or I took them with her. Uh, I haven't included those, and I haven't included any of it being finished. But these are some pictures that were taken of the trip itself and the movement of this house from Dusson uh, to, to Big Woods. And then there are some more pictures that are in this video of the house being set up and made worthy to live in once it reached Big Woods. Uh, the Hayes House Moving Company is one of the two oldest in this region and we spent some time with them and with the state police. There were people at family missions, there's carpentry crews. So there's quite a large cast of characters in this little story. Uh, my dad there is talking to the state police right along the highway before we moved the vehicle. And that was uh, certainly a big part of getting ready, was meeting with them and discussing the things that were going on. Mostly that was handled by the house movers themselves, who had been in it almost all their lives. This man's grandfather moved the house out there. He got a, a degree in construction management from LSU, where I got my master's in history. And that's him up there with a crew member building the wire guide on the roof. They're getting the vehicles ready for the big caravan. It's quite a production to move a home like this and uh, that guide pulls the wires up above the house it goes through. I think this is one of the hardest work I've seen to get on the highway with all these issues My dad led a prayer meeting of everyone involved before we started. And this house is going to be my home. And I thank you for moving. I really do. I really thank you for moving it. And my home is given to the service of God. I'm a Catholic religionary. My family and I have gone all over the world preaching the gospel. We're still going all over the world preaching the gospel. And when we come home, this is where we're going to live. And we have around us other missionaries who are living there. Uh, Justin has been out there to see us. You're going to see us today. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Holy God, we come together today as men gathered to do a work. Lord, this is not an easy work. This is a work that requires great skill, courage, and effort. And we give it to you, Lord. We pray that it be an acceptable sacrifice, pleasing in your sight. We pray this house can move today with no special troubles. We pray, Lord, we can move today with no accident. We pray the Lord that we can move today and put the house out where it belongs and it'll be in good shape. Lord, we can't guarantee this, but you can. And we ask you to work with us today, Father God. Lord, let us work with you. We ask that you bless all these men, that as they work, they are blessed in their work. That they have joy in their heart. They get along well together. And Father God, we ask you to let them be fairly compensated for their work. All these things we ask in Jesus' name, and it's a prayer of the great St. Joseph, and I want to read from the Bible, my favorite passage. The Lord is my shepherd. There's nothing I lack. In green pastures you put my house. 
And if you green pastures over there. To safe waters you leave me, and there's some water out in front of where we put it. You restore my strength. You guide me along the right path for the sake of your name. Lord, guide us along the right path for the sake of your name. Even when I walk through a dark valley, yes, there might be some issues that threaten us along the way. I fear no harm, for you are at my side. Your rod and your staff give me courage. You set a table before me as my enemies watch. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Only goodness and love will pursue me all the days of my life. I will dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. Father, we accept this word, this promise. We ask you that you lead us in the right way for your name's sake. And be with us every step of the journey. Bring us safely to our destination. For your glory and in our good. Amen. Uh, the most typical part of this video, and I do have shots of it, but you can't have everything in a short video, and we're just hours of spent driving through the country at very slow speeds, moving signs and everything, but I decided to include these videos of Abbeville and Lafayette, where we went through the city instead. Uh, those hours of country driving and negotiating and moving hundreds of signs and a few fences uh, are hard to capture in a few shots and given the few shots that I can include I decided to show us moving there on the interstate near Ambassador Caffrey and here in Abbeville through town. Then I left the vehicle myself that was following this and dad dropped me off and I dumped some pictures in the computer and uploaded some on the web and went and took some pictures of the house site. This is it. You can see it's not graded and uh, there's some dirt that's been dumped but not a whole lot. People began to gather at Big Woods. I got there before the house and we knew it was coming. We began to gather and look and wait for the house to come and then lo and behold there it comes down Everglade Road towards Big Woods and begins to arrive at what we call the production facility where a large gate would be opened for it. Uh, to tear down part of the fence was necessary. They had this bobcat come down and begin to operate uh, as part of their process of making a way for this house to come in. It was an extraordinary event to see how many things these people did like clockwork which you can barely detect in this 15 minute video. You have to remember this uh, video is so much shorter than the actual process and I'm one guy with a small camera. This is a uh, crew lifting up the vehicle and look with the vehicle comes a gate now they're moving the house through preparing to turn it from off the road onto a series of lands that are not uh, road. These people really worked together. They spoke uh, to one another in, in a, the kind of code that comes from working well together. They interacted well. You can see they got it through the fence line and these pictures show the house, the fence line running in and the house on both sides of it. Well that showed things well. And then they get out of my view and they come in and he begins to put back the things that went on the top of the house. You can see it's raining a little bit by the time we got there. Climbing a wet, rainy uh, roof with a bunch of old dust on it. Apparently That's my voice there. making wisecracks about climbing the roof in the rain. Something I've done myself on other occasions. Not, not a comforting thing to do. I was glad I wasn't doing it. This is the way the house looks as it's sitting there on the extremely strong trailer with the I beams supporting it, and uh, they're using a 
picnic table as a, a set of temporary stairs. I walked around in the house and began to take a few pictures of the internal disarray that would be uh, facing the people moving in. And of course I took a lot of other pictures that don't get into this little video. And uh, then it was time to start thinking about really getting the house settled down. So this is the next uh, couple of days later. They arrive and begin to, uh, because it was a weekend, so they, they took a part of the weekend off. They come and begin to set things up to actually put the house in place. They're bringing out their trusty bobcat off the trailer again, which had been parked on the trailer during the weekend. We're out here at Big Woods, of course, and during this weekend, my parents had had a number of people working to help them set up the house and uh, make as much preparation as they could. You can see the big house in the background there. That's the house they're moving from. So it's that close of a move for them. They're not moving nearly as far as the house is. And uh, there's some of the smashed ground, and there's the, uh, the supplies they have. Of, bringing a pallet of uh, those wooden blocks. They have the pneumatic jacks and other things on the trailer. All of which they're going to need to do the intricate work of setting up this house in its new location. There they come up with that. And back away. You can see those little circles on the edge of the wheel if you look closely. Of course, these big tires have no inner tube. That's my brother Joseph. Uh, he's showing the, the size of the house there, I thought. And then the uh, crew going under there to begin setting things up. Here's a carpenter beginning to remove a rotten piece of wood and improve a sill that will have to be restructured with the, the house being set up. and. They had to put it on a certain level to meet the uh, flood zone requirements. There, huh? They fabricated uh, a little hollow box sill there instead of using a real my voice, sill. my voice, my uh, voice, talking about the sill. Out of it. With nothing in the middle. And so now the house is, uh, the trailer's been moved. That alone could be a little video, but the trailer's been taken out. And you can see at this point there are all these blocks in position. Now that they have the blocks in position, they have to use surveyor's tool to set up a line of sight to make sure that each block's top is at a level with every other block's top so that when the house is lowered onto those tops, it meets the flood zone requirements. You can see the big steel jack there that they're using. When all those jacks are brought down, they will rest on those piers, block piers. They all have to be even and they all have to be above the flood zone requirements. And uh, there's a picture of my dad looking at various issues of leveling. And then this is after a good bit of time when that person was cutting the sill. They've added new rooms. They've raised a sill. I went into the house. There's Donald Romero fixing up some electrical things, an old friend of the family. So Mr. Donald Romero, what are you doing here today? And what have you been doing these 40 years that's similar to what you're doing today? Basically, a little bit of what I'm doing, hooking up some wires. Hooking up some wires, huh? This uh, old panel oh. has, is uh, the brand uh, cost wire. Uh, I'm not hoping because I've got the same thing in my house. I'm learning about it. Okay. Well, this one is under construction. To change it out. Now, I'm staying right across the street from uh, Broussard Brothers, which used to be the old Riviana uh, oh, carpet offices for many years. What did you used to do for Riviana, or do you still do for Riviana? Electrical, electronics, anything that needs to be done. And then in the, in the military, you did that too, right? Uh, bombs. 
Okay, so that was before you went to electrical school. Yeah. Uh, okay, I was confused there. But you've been doing this with uh, this family and, and their various projects for many moons, huh, Donald? Yes, sir. Many, many moons. And so uh, he certainly has been doing a great deal. I remember when he made a video in the family. It was one of the first videos when videos were just coming out. Went down to Mexico and recorded some videos of the ministry in Rosbeda, which still goes on today. So it was good to have him in this video in case they survive together into posterity. And this mom leading another crew in the same in the house at the same time as Donald. There's another guy from another crew and that the big house they sold there in the background. So what are you doing here today, Mom? Well, we're getting the plumbing, Co trying to get the house connected to plumbing so that we can get Slimco. So look like you have about six people here, huh? Yeah. But they're all different crews, I think, aren't yeah, they? We got, we got Mr. Paul, our master carpenter here. Okay. And we have the painter who is Terrence Green. And we have the carpenter who is Terrence Green. And we have the And Donald Romero is an old stalwart, huh? Okay, well, I just came to get the last few pictures uh, for a little video. and. Uh, a ladybird was happy to see me, I guess. House Mover Movie is the name of this uh, video and will be one of the simplest I've ever put on the web in terms of production, effects, the no music. And uh, so I wanted to sign off with a little editorial comment of my own saying I hope that uh, you learned something from this little home movie and enjoyed it and it preserves a record of this adventure one of so many and typical of others uh, for posterity and uh, certainly it was a memorable experience that came in the summer when a lot of other memorable things were going on so uh, thank you for your time